Uh, I'm John Houck, uh, retired Command Sergeant Major. Uh, spent 34 years, seven months, and four days in uniform. And uh, in very, in a, my military background is very diverse. And when I say that, and I, as I go into my story, you'll know. Um, I initially got into the Army uh, because I had no purpose or direction. I wasn't a, a good student. I was average. Um, but I didn't like school. School. My mom, my folks would always say, hey, "Be the first one. You can go to college. You can go to college." Because they thought I was, they was, I was smart. I spent my my youth kicking around Pittsburgh, doing normal stuff, playing playing sports, but also hanging around with the wrong crowd. And so, uh, and I and I I, I like to party more than I like to do anything else. And so it got to a point, um, graduate, getting ready to graduate high school. I was like, what am I going to do with myself? Next thing you know, I was enlisting in, in the Army. I became a, a OH-58 crew chief. A couple years later, Jimmy Carter uh, became president, and he decided he was going to downsize the Army. And there was a sweeping change throughout the Army at that time because I can remember um, losing a great portion of my leaders, NCO leaders at that time. I was getting ready to make that decision whether to re-enlist or leave, um, they have froze promotions from E436 for two years. I get out of the Army, go back home, and guess what? I'm doing the same thing. And I, 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 I hadn't grown up yet. And so I was kicking around. And one of my friends I got I fell in with was a Marine Corps recruiter. So I joined the Marine Corps. And so he got me in, in open contract, and I became an MP. I kicked around the Marine Corps for 12 years, did some really good things, and had some really good leaders. And after 12 years, I ran into some Marines at, at Quantico, and we decided to open a business together. We had a security business. Uh, and so I got out of the Marine Corps. 15 years of service, I'm like, I wanted to keep that going. So I joined the D.C. Guard at the time. And then <laughs> as soon as I joined, a month later, we deployed to support uh, Bosnia operations. And then when I came back, my business was gone. I had no job, no, no focus, no direction. And so a sergeant major uh, introduced me to another sergeant major and it, that was in the guard, or was an AGR. So he thought I would be good for a program they were running out of Fort Belvoir. And so he put me on orders. And so I was on and off orders for two years until my AGR packet got approved. And so now I'm Title 10 full-time AGR, I'm back in uniform. All right, so long for short, the, being in uniform was a means to an end for me at, at the beginning, all right? But as I started being shaped by some very, very good leaders that showed me what right looked like. So I was part of a, something bigger than myself. And so the great thing that I feel is that being in uniform and recognizing that that you're something you're part of something bigger than one person. Uh, so we, I started looking at my uniform as a representation of my family. The one side says Army, the other side said Hauk. And so I, in order to always bring credit and honor to my family's Hauk and the Army, I always tried to lean forward and make sure I put my best foot forward at all times. No, was I always successful at that? No, I stumbled, I fell, you know, but I, there was always another member of my family to help pick me up and keep me, and dust me off and help, and help point me in the right direction and keep me moving. And so no, that's, that's what I mean by being part of something bigger than oneself. And so before I knew it, it was time to retire. I said, well, let me try civilian life, working, and I say they're working in the civilian community. Uh, I never felt connected or that, that, that sense of purpose working in, in the civilian sector. And uh, opportunities came up to come here as a, a contract instructor. And then uh, I applied. Uh, and by the graces of God, uh, I, I got hired. Uh, and so immediately, Coming back into this building, uh, I felt 
once again, a sense of purpose, a sense of belonging. And so if nothing else, I want to continue to give back to that uniform family, even though I don't wear the uniform no more. And, and I love the phrase soldier for life because it truly is that, is that calling, that, that belonging to something bigger than oneself uh, and that part of being a part of a large, diverse family. And so that's the one thing that, that gets me up every morning, gets me out of bed, and keeps me motivated for coming into this building. So that's why it's important for me, and to give back. And uh, Sergeant Major Daly, who, who coined that Soldier for Life phrase, and I truly feel that that is me, a soldier for life. And as much as I can give back to that family, I, I'm going to try to do so. And so, like I said, it's give and take. They give me is just as much as I give, and that's my motivation for getting up and, and coming into this illustrious building and being part of this institution.